What could possibly be more fun than playing with snakes and fire? Literally everything. Wrong! Making a fire snake is more fun using source and science. Today, we will be perfecting the fire snake. The fire snake, or black snake as some people call it, is a chemical reaction between heat, baking soda, and sugar. Before we get going, make sure you find that subscribe button so you never miss us doing something cool. Or something really stupid as the case may be. Is there a difference? I don't think there's a difference. <laughs> All kidding aside, be safe. We are using fire and very flammable fluids here, so always take the proper precautions. Put on your glasses too. We have removed all the combustible materials around and we have fire extinguishers at the ready. Just make sure you know the difference between a fire extinguisher and a fire distinguisher. For example, I am a fire distinguisher. Yep, it's a fire. Let's get everything ready. We're gonna need some enslaved carbon dioxide. Baking soda. He means baking soda. That's what I said. And we're gonna need some sugar and lighter fluid. We are going to be testing what type of sugar and what type of combustion fluid makes the best snakes. Our choices are regular white sugar, icing sugar, and cane sugar. We'll also be using lighter fluid and 91% isopropyl alcohol. The mixture of sugar to baking soda is 4 to 1 by weight. So for every 40 grams of sugar, we mix in 10 grams of baking soda. We are making a few different types of the baking soda and sugar mixture. First, two batches of the powdered sugar with baking soda, and then two of the granulated sugar batches as well. And finally, top it off with the cane sugar mixture in two batches. Fill a bowl or oven safe tray with sand and pack it down so it's even. We have made two. One for using isopropyl alcohol as a fuel source, and the other one for using lighter fluid. We do need to soak the sand with our fuel where we want the snakes to grow. Pour the pre-made mixture of sugar and baking soda onto the trays. We are keeping each batch separate so we can find the best combination. When dealing with flammable materials, make sure you remove all the fuel sources so we've taken away the bottles of lighter fluid and alcohol away from here. Don't play with fire. Let's light them up. Woohoo! Okay. So the lighter fluid is definitely burning better than the isopropyl alcohol. Much better, actually. Mm. That's quite extreme. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't just move that camera back a little bit. There we go. It'll burn down pretty quick. Very cool. See how that one's actually... Yeah. There we go. Oh, cool. Oops. Oops. <laughs> yep, that's the, uh, the fire alarm. <laughs> it's okay. It's on purpose. So the fire alarm's finally turned off. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Didn't think it would matter because it's not actually producing very much smoke, but apparently uh, it's producing something. Everything's burning actually really nicely. And you can see they're very, very cool. <laughs> so it looks like the cane sugar is actually working the best. Hopefully yeah, you can see it. that. That's exactly 3.14 inches tall. Do you know what that makes that? A python. <laughs> <laughs> mm. How are you going to measure these? Because they're kind of twisty in inches. Because <laughs> they don't have any feet, because they're snakes. <laughs> Look at them grow, eh? That's really cool. That's really cool. Really cool. We have created a flaming danger noodle. <laughs> wow, if you look at right at the base of them, you can actually see yeah. them being produced. Super cool. Like that cool. one, okay, so. Really cool. So one thing to note is you definitely shouldn't put on very much. Really, only a tablespoon is better than dumping the whole lot on them. These things are like feathers. Oh 
Oh yeah. Hey, pick it up. It's like they're not even existent. That's really cool. They don't even exist. <laughs> That's how light they are. I really, I can't even feel this in my hand at all. It's so light. They look like they should be hard and crusty like lava or something, but yeah, no, nope, they're, they're just air. We are going to clean this up and reset so we can try this again, but that worked amazingly well, even yeah. with the fire alarm going off, <laughs> but eh. <laughs> so my favorite actually is the cane sugar with the isopropyl alcohol. So the isopropyl alcohol and the lighter fluid both worked about the same so we're going to just use the isopropyl alcohol because that didn't actually give off any smoke and it was the lighter fluid that set off the fire alarm and scared the puppies so let's not do that <laughs> but now that we know which works best we're going to make a whole field of snakes a field of snakes on fire that is literally a nightmare i've had <laughs> all the more reason to see what it looks like we are going to try three different methods of the cane sugar and baking soda mixture. The first one is going to be in a pile, same as usual, just because that looked really cool. We are going to try the cane sugar in a paste for the second one. The paste is going to be made by mixing a bit of the isopropyl alcohol in with the cane sugar and baking soda at the beginning. And the third pile is actually going to be the same paste mixture, but loaded into small copper pipes that we're going to set in the sand. Okay, we're ready to light the field of snakes. Are you ready? Sure. Let the nightmares begin. So that was an unbelievably cool experiment. If you liked it, make sure you find that like button. It really helps us out. And stay tuned, because bloopers are coming up. When dealing with flam... Dealing with what? When dealing with flam... When deal... <laughs> She's laughing at me because I can't say a word. Like a butterfly's arc. Those don't exist either. <laughs> I sense trust issues. <laughs> I'm just letting them know that they could use a dish if they wanted so they don't get disappointed. It's a dish claimer. <laughs>